This short video will define Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome and explain the causes, epidemiology, presentation and management. Wernicke-Korsakoff is a serious neuropsychiatric disorder, meaning it has both physical and mental components. Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is the combined presence of two separate but related conditions, Wernicke's encephalopathy and Korsakoff's psychosis. It is important to note these are separate conditions that can occur independently of each other. Not everyone with Wernicke's encephalopathy will develop Korsakoff psychosis, and Korsakoff psychosis is not necessarily preceded by Wernicke's. However, in the majority of cases, Korsakoff psychosis is the result of undiagnosed and untreated Wernicke's. Both of these conditions are caused by thiamine, also known as vitamin B1, deficiency, which is common amongst long-term alcohol abusers. The most common symptoms of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome are memory loss, disorientation of time, person and place, and poor balance and gait. The most widely recognised symptom is memory loss. Damage to the brain in Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is caused by thiamine deficiency. Thiamine deficiency is common amongst long-term alcohol abusers as they frequently have very poor unbalanced diets by neglecting to eat proper meals in favour of drinking, and the food they do eat is improperly absorbed due to liver and stomach lining damage. For the same reason, Wernicke Korsakoff is not limited to alcoholics, though this is still the vast majority of cases, and can occur in patients with anorexia and other disorders causing thiamine deficiency. This is especially important to remember in vulnerable people recovering from GI surgery. Foods high in thiamine include cereals such as oatmeal, pork and seeds, particularly sunflower seeds. Yeast is also a very good dietary source. Thiamine is needed for metabolic processes in the brain. An absence of thiamine leads to the death of specialised cells in the brain called neurons. Neuronal populations with a high metabolic requirement suffer most from thiamine deficiency. The areas most commonly affected are the areas of the brain involved in memory, concentration, balance and eye movement. So we can see that damage to these areas causes the symptoms of Wernicke's encephalopathy such as memory loss, confusion, poor balance and gait and blurred vision. Wernicke's encephalopathy is not a rare condition. It is estimated to affect 2% of the general population and up to 12.5% of chronic alcoholics. It can occur at any age, though likelihood of developing the condition increases with the length of alcohol abuse. For this reason, the mean onset is between 40 and 60 years old, but it can occur earlier or later. Despite being relatively common, it is still very dangerous, with up to 20% of sufferers dying as a result of the condition. Those that do survive have a high likelihood of developing the longer-term complication, Korsakoff psychosis, approximately 85%. It is common for Wernicke's encephalopathy sufferers to have a history of long-term alcohol abuse, and may also have ongoing conditions related to malnourishment such as HIV, AIDS, and cancer. Some of the signs of Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome are common to chronic alcohol abuse in general and are visible from inspection. This includes, but is not limited to, rosacea, which is reddening of the face, rhinophyma, an enlargement of the nose, hepatomegaly, an enlarged liver, jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin, and clubbing, a swelling of the fingertips. Symptoms of Wernicke's encephalopathy include drowsiness, confusion about time and place, poor balance, also known as ataxia, blurred or double vision, and ophthalmoplegia, which is a paralysis of eye muscles leading to abnormal eye movements and may seem like a squint. As you can see, many of the symptoms of Wernicke's encephalopathy are similar to those seen in drunk people, 
so it is important not to misdiagnose. One useful way of distinguishing between drunkenness and Wernicke's is to ask how much the person has had to drink. Often, Wernicke's patients will appear more drunk than expected for the amount of alcohol consumed. In Korsakoff psychosis, symptoms are more psychiatric and include a loss of spontaneity, apathy and lack of engagement, severe memory loss, especially short-term memory, and an inability to make new memories, and confabulation, which is confused and incorrect ideas about identity and recent history. Wernicke's encephalopathy should be viewed as a treatable condition, but left too long, the effects can be permanent or deadly. Long-term damage may be presented if started early. For this reason, if you suspect Wernicke's encephalopathy, you should seek medical attention immediately. Initial treatment involves high-dose injections of thiamine. If Wernicke's developed as a result of alcohol abuse, long-term rehabilitation management is required. Korsakoff should be viewed as a treatable condition, but the success of a treatment is dependent on the amount of brain damage that has occurred. Treatments will take a holistic approach that will involve alcohol detoxification, treatment of any other illnesses such as liver cirrhosis or pancreatitis, which is common amongst alcoholics, and aiming to rehabilitate them to live as independently as possible, although unfortunately this is impossible in some cases. It is important to realise that people who have developed this condition through chronic alcoholism often have very poor social support, inadequate housing and financial problems, so treatment can be long and difficult. Like Wernicke's encephalopathy, treatment will likely involve thiamine replacement and also memory rehabilitation.